Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara Lawson and today is a good day because y'all yeah, remember what I actually I don't think y'all remember but uh <laughs> but <clears throat> right about now um I'm gonna do some more reviews cause I know y'all like some reviews for for somehow and um knowing for a fact that um Let's just say uh, there will be more reviews, hopefully, uh, if I could, because um, I um, I was actually going to be planning on wa um, watching the Batman uh, sooner or later, but yeah, and I'm probably going to do more of them in case I always forgot. So yeah, but um, but yeah. So in case you don't know, last time I. I did, um, I did watch, uh, AEW Re uh, Revolution last night, um, my Friday, I finished watching The Walking Dead episode 11, no, season 11, well, not yet, just in case, so, yeah, and I have to say, um, AEW Revolution is a very good, it's a very good one. It's a very good pay-per-view. I'm not gonna lie, cause um, that's what that's how AEW wants my attention because they want to see some very awesome entertainment stuff. And I have to say, man, uh, AEW did a great job, man. I ain't gonna lie. And um, cooling all the the lot of stuff that was gonna happen, so. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna check on the results, of course. These are from the pre-show, so so I guess I'm gonna give this one a nine out of ten for three uh one of these matches on the pre-show. So yeah, so I'm just gonna have to skip all of that. But don't worry, I'll have to watch it off screen until um then. So yeah. But let's get right to the main shows. Uh, we got Eddie Kingston versus Chris Jericho. Now I have to say there was some great, there was some great brutal matches because I know for a fact it's all about you know respect. And I have to say, um, Eddie Kingston is one of them that Eddie Kingston wants to like respect the legend himself for uh, for Chris Jericho because of it, because <laughs> um. I think that's how it all started, so yeah. But I have to get this one um eight out of ten. It started out very fantastic. A little bit slow, but it's it's very fantastic. Well let's hope we'll see more eighty Kingston um sooner or later. Next we got the three way tag team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. We got Jurassic Express versus Red Dragon. And there's the, the the young bucks. I have to say, man, that was a, a very fantastic match, man. Like, I never know that the hell is going so far as a high flying stuff. I mean, Jungle Boy, and uh, Lucasaurus, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Matt Matt J Matt and Nick Jackson, of course. They did a hell of a good job, man. I ain't gonna lie, cause um. <laughs> I never know if they get tickets in the next level until then. Like, man, you you gotta have to watch it, man. That shit was that stuff was crazy, man. I had to say the match of the year, so I had to get this one. Ten out of ten. That was a, a great great match, man. I tell you, man, that was a very great match. All right, next is the face of the revolutions for the ladder match for the AEW TNT Championship match, which is very great because um, Warlow taking the chances to get the chance to face the AEW TNT Championship against, you know, uh, what's his name? Oh, Sammy Sammy Gravilla. I forgot, sorry about that. And I have to say, man, it's it's a great man. It's better than like in like um like a money in a bank or something like that. Like it's actually reference to it. And I 
have to say, like, like, <laughs> I don't know about that, that giant golden ring, like, it actually reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog, of course, of course, <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, man, that is reference of it, man, but that was a, that was a great match, that was a great match, I'll get this, um, another of eight, eight point five, well, eight and a half out of ten. That was great. Next is Jay Cargill versus Tay Conti. I have to say, uh, four out of ten. Tay should have won that. But I have to say, um, I really impressed by Jay because it's actually makes sense because if you don't know, uh, it was one of the Jay's Mortal Kombat outfit that um, it actually makes sense. So that was a great that was a great outfit for Jay. But still, Tay should have won that. I mean, who cares still about Jay? So it doesn't matter. So four out of ten. Next is CM Punk versus MJF. Oh my goodness, on a dog dog color match. That that match was pretty freaking brutal, man. Like I didn't know until it happens and I was like, "Wow." Like they like those tools are bleeding out to each other and very freaking brutal. And I, I didn't know until then, man. And somehow, if you don't know about the, the storylines that, you know, it's that MJF was trying to give CM Punk an attention of how this happened when MJF met CM Punk when MJF was a kid, right? And... We didn't, we didn't know, we didn't know until then, I was like, wait, was that happened the last time? I was like, man, I, I didn't know until then, cause, um, it was, it was crazy, man, it was very crazy, and Warlow just turned on MJF, which means Warlow is actually a face right about now, which is great, cause I didn't know until then, cause, Believe me, MJ was a complete asshole till then and now, man. But I'm glad CM Punk get the chance to win. Like, I know a lot of comments are going to be saying, MJ could win that easy. Like, nah. Y'all just want to complain too much, man. Like, just enjoy the show, alright? Just enjoy it. That's all I ever, ever needed. Just enjoy it. It doesn't matter if MJ win or loses. It doesn't matter. I mean, he deserved to lose because... MJF for being an asshole for like an entire time, so yeah, he's a dickhead. So I have to say another mess of the night, ten out of ten, cause that shit was freaking brutal, freaking brutal. All right, next is Doctor Britt Breaker versus Thunder Rosa for the AEW Women's World Championship. One out of ten. Like, I know a lot of people say that Britt Breaker was a boring championship wrestler, and I, I get it. I mean, he, I mean, she was a boring wrestler because I don't know what the hell what AEW would do. Like, they ran out of ideas for Britt Breakers to lose the title, and Britt Breaker. Brit Breaker didn't get the chance to lose because Thunder Rosa should have won without someone getting involved. And Brit Breaker two, two of them got involved. And it sucks. And also I like the title as well, so yeah. But it does but I don't even care. One out of ten. Thunder Rosa should have won better because I'm really. I know a lot of people sick of tired boot breaker and um. That. 
Alright, we're almost done here. We got John Mossy versus Brian Danielson. Another of the brutal masks, cause that seems crazy. Like it's turned like in the wrestler into the MMA mask. Cause I didn't know that John Mossy and Brian Brian Danielson know about each other a long time ago. I think it happens in the Indies. Is is it? I think so. But that was the fucking crazy ones, man. But guess who's coming to AEW? William Regals. Like I did not know that William Regals came here AEW. The whole thing was shock. And it was getting better, man. It was getting better. And I did I did not know until it this happens. And it's crazy. Like holy crap, man. Like like I need to watch more of AEWs because this is getting better and better and better. Cause another of the match of the night, I'll give this one a ten out of ten and another ten for a real Ringles appear for the first time in AEW. That was crazy. I love it. I freaking love it. Alright, we got two more. Oh yeah, by the way, um, Swerve uh, saying Strickland is first time appearance in AEW as well. And, um, I'll just say we'll see how it goes from him, from his, I guess. Alright, so next, alright, next up is Six Man Tornado Tag Team Match. It's during Al, uh, during Allen, Sammy Garvera, Avria, Sting versus Andre, and, uh, Hardy Family. With Andre, Matt Hardy, I, and I, uh, and I, uh, he's, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I forgot, um, Cassie, I'm just gonna call him Cassie anyway. So, yeah, that was a great match. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, another great match for it for the Six Minutes Tornado Tag Team match, which was freaking crazy because I know there's no disqualifications, which is, which I'm okay with it. And Sammy just Spanish fly uh, Cassidy off of the top of the. Um, the I I forgot. I mean off the top of the stage and laid it right into the in the table, which is fucking crazy. Like I thought they died. They they died. Like I like wait. <laughs> like can I get him an X or something? Like golly man, that was fucking crazy. I did not know till then. I was like, wow. They they really did. And now Sting all this just splash Andre off of the top, you know, off of the top of the um, I don't know what that called, and later right to that or three or four tables, man. That was uh, crazy stuff, man. It actually reminds me of WWF Royal Rumble at 2000, one of the best years so far at 2000, and you know. Man, I I guess I missed that. Oh no no no! Actually, it was 1999. No, it's 2000. My bad. I'm my memories messed it up. So, yeah, man, that was crazy. And then Derby actually used the Scorpion Death Drop on the chair. Which is brutal as well, cause I thought Matt, I thought Matt Hardy is gonna use a twist of fate on his chair, like it would be pretty freaking brutal. And yeah, <clears throat> another match of the night, and I'm gonna have to get this one probably nine out of ten, cause that shit was fucking crazy. I know this, I know I'm gonna put the nine, I know it's gonna put ten out of ten, but actually, I put t I put nine point five out of ten, so. Yeah, that, that was a great one, man. That was a great one. Alright. And the last one is 
Hangman Page versus Adam Cole for the AEW World Championship. Another of a great match of the night. I, I had to say that that shit was crazy of how this starts, man. And even though like even though like like I said, no volunteers at all, of course. I mean it's kinda annoying like some wrestlers always interfere because Red Dragon is interfering to to let Adam Cole take the win, but it got backfired because I know that Adam Pace is never going to surrender for the AEW World Championship. And that part when he dead eyed Adam Cole onto that table was just crazy because I didn't know who. <laughs> It happened, like, god damn. I mean, it hurt, it hurt his knee, but he can still pull it off just in case, so. And that, it ain't ends up with, the, with a couple of buckshot lyrics on Adam Cole once again. And then Adam Page takes the win. Somehow it's, a, it's weird, because two of them, two of them Adam names at the same time, so I guess it's like a, like a battle of the atoms, of course, because it get a lot of confused. But yeah, I'll get this one 9 out of 10. It was a very great match once again. And so as for the pay-per-view of AEW Revolutions, I'll get this one 9.5 out of 10. Because that was a... Uh, a very great, a very great pre-review, man. I ain't gonna lie. I will gladly watch more of the AEW because even though that AEW would get more of former WWE that comes to AEW, I'm okay with it. Well, I wish I could join it as well. So, yeah. But um, but yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for my uh for my reviews and um i'm probably gonna do a little bit of re uh, reactions for quite a long uh cry for a while just in case so 